introduce my dear friend, who I've known close to 16 years. His parents moved from India to England, where Dr. Abe was born and educated. His humanitarian work started 43 years ago, at the age of 10 years old. In 1991, he moved to New York, started an org, an org called Help Against Drugs Org of New York City, Inc., helping children steer away from drugs and play sports. Approximately 13 years, at 13 years, he found co-founded the Humanitarians of the World Inc. Hot Wing, a 501c3 nonprofit organization with a bigger vision of helping more people worldwide. He also founded the Humanitarians of the World Inc. Hall of Fame, honoring people who have done good for humanity and their community here in the U.S. and worldwide, which will debut very soon as COVID as uh, COVID-19 pandemic is over. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us introduce to you my friend, Dr. Abhi. He's very good. Thank you. Thank you. Sharma, president of the uh, United Sherpa Association for the past 40 years. He's uh, done a volunteer social work, freelance writer, speaker, and a Buddhist scholar. He's done door to door deliveries and groceries to 700 families with COVID 19 international students, disabled, and vulnerable people. Distribution of PPEs to Elmer's Hospital, NYPD, FDNY, Nepalese Nurses Association, dozens of uh, Nepalese Tibet, Tibetan, Tibetan and Bhutanese community organization. He, he's also the Himalayan Buddhist community of Nepal, USA, uh, in senior vice president, well, actually, senior vice president of 2015 to 17. Assembly in 1994, New York City Council from 2002 to 2009. Uh, two-term Queensborough president and in 1920, uh, 2020 became a Queen's DA, first woman uh, and whatever else you want to say, historical event. Uh, Melinda Katz, let's hear it for us. So, um, there are many people here I know that are here to pay honor to the community for all that you did during COVID and all that you continue to do. So I do want to start by thanking Dr. Avi, Dr. Singh, for all the work that you have done for gathering the community together. And understanding that strength comes in numbers. Understanding that the power, the power of the people, come and standing together and working together. And so congratulations on all you and your entire organization has done. And to Mr. Sherpa and to all of the other uh, sponsors today. Thank you. Wonderful round of applause for Catalina Cruz. When you reached out even to elected officials, how do we help you do your job? How do we help you reach the community that really needs the help? And that doesn't often happen. Generally, if someone is reaching out to us to say we need help. But what you did was say, here's how we can work with each other. For you. Oh, thank you very much. 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 Drum was an award-winning New York public school teacher at PS 199Q in Queens from 1984 to 2009. Drum is a pioneer of the LGBT rights movement in Queens, organized the first Queens LGBT parade and festival, and come and get your COVID-19 champions award. Give him a round of applause. Danny Drum. And thank you everybody, it's great to be here and to uh, receive this award. I want to thank uh, uh, Carl Lama, Dr. Bruce Grantham, and of course Dr. Avi uh, for the work that you have done at Urban Sherpa. And let me just say a couple of words. A citation, one gives Urban Sherpa a grateful recognition of the art of graduate and service. Among those to the most powerful members of our community. 
Thank you so much for the work that you have done. And Dr. Adal Hussein, for the work you have done as well. Congratulations. Place meant six congressional district of New York, encompassing the New York City borough of Queens, including the West, Central, and Northeastern Queens. Grace is also a senior whip, a regional whip for New York, and a founder of co-chair of the Case Safety Caucus. And give her Grace an applause. Thank you, Grace. A true leader in the assembly, doing some great things, and he was not able to come, and he. Uh, gave these proclamations yesterday to me and her again. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it is wonderful, wonderful to see you. Um, thank you for that very, very gracious, uh, gracious and generous introduction. Um, I am delighted to join you here tonight uh, to thank you on behalf of the 2.34 million residents who called Queens home. Uh, as you know, we were the epicenter of the epicenter of this global pandemic. Uh, he is everywhere, and he is a fierce, fierce advocate to strengthening our communities, our quickly growing communities, and that is, of course, Dr. Hussein. Um, you are, this does not do justice to what you've done for our borough, but again, it is a very small token to memorialize this unprecedented year and all that you did to make us stronger as we come out of it. So thank you very much. Thank you. Let's come on in. And we're going to be moving into uh, the panel. This is a, a diversity panel, if you look at the program. Uh, each, we have a religious organization leaders here who are going to speak for about a minute each about COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I work with a very international project as well as a domestic project of American Thursday Leaders of Conference. But we, in February, when the when the pandemic began, actually, or we were in Korea having a very major conference here with the parliamentarians. Excellency, it is my pleasure and honor to be here with you, this evening, and the speaker from my organization, Dragon, and in violation based in New York since 2013. When the pandemic, when we had the first case of COVID-19 in New York City, we stopped all our programs and jumped into saving the community from COVID-19. And and to provide uh, emergency assistance to the community. Anthropist and humanitarian. Mm -hmm. Definitely uh, doing uh, great work during the COVID-19 pandemic, and she said she'll continue to do it as long as she can get donations of food. So come on up, Pastor Alba, uh, 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 Gustavo Lazada, to pick up for Pastor Alba. <laughs> now, we give a special award to a person who's doing extraordinary things. She was not able to attend today, but she she is a world leader in these kind of things. Her name is Jean Shafaroff, philanthropist, humanitarian, and socialite. Jean advocate, turn TV host, and author of the book, Successful Philanthropy, How to Make a, a Life by What You Give, a volunteer leader of several charitable projects. She serves on the charity boards of the Southampton Hospital, New York Mission Society, French Heritage Society, Couture Council, the 19 uh, award to Jean Shaparov, a philanthropist. Jean, this is for you, from me and Ernie. Uh, thank you. who coordinates uh, all the relief efforts in the uh, North Jersey uh, area. Um, so I'd like to invite him to... Uh, 
Commander Dagens of the World Team, founded myself as board of directors. We honor Mr. Ergen Shepherd, United Shepherd Association, with the COVID-19 Champions Award 2020 for his humanitarian work, leadership during COVID-19 pandemic on Saturday, October 24. Uh, we, we really want to thank you for what you did. And he's really a true warrior when it comes to the community. And he's all. with this, I want you to please uh, accept this uh, 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 appreciation and uh, thank you from uh, humanity. Uh, during uh, this work, when we're, as we're fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic, I found a friend, good friend, and a fighter, community leader, and good, great humanitarian, Dr. Adal Hussain, known as Dr. Evi, United Shepa Association in honor of Dr. Adal Hussain, founder of Humanitarians of the World Inc. with the COVID-19 Champions Award 2020 for his humanitarian work and leader, leadership during COVID-19 pandemic. And Saturday, October 24th, 2020. And we have a small token of love. This is a symbol of peace. It represents Buddha's mind, body, and speech. And he may have a peaceful life. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to name all those uh, uh, people and organizations who help us during this pandemic. Without whom, whose help we might have not done in these events either. So, uh, without with any delay, uh, I would like to invite our uh, founder president, Sonam Gyaldan Sherpa. Sonam Gyaldan Sherpa. No donations, no money of any kind. We just did it for the love of God to help the people who need to be helped. So this is, there's no motivation but to help the people. And that's what I've been doing for 43 years, as you heard the uh, Right Honorable Reverend Bruce Grodner read the bio and what I've accomplished and what I did. And Ergen here.